Tell me about yourself. Um, I guess I'm female. <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> um, I am a scientist and I'm currently doing my PhD. So Honest Folk for both Amy and I is just a little side project. But we love what we do. Well, the only thing that really got me through was going on the Vogue forums and we used to just log on and because you could sell items on it and buy things and I think without the Vogue forums I wouldn't know what Lover was and like how big it's become it's just so iconic now so initially Amy and I had just met on um, well I knew her knew her on the Vogue forums and we started following each other's blog and it kind of just grew from there when I was in America I came up with the idea of doing something like Honest Vogue and I was trying to think of some people that I wanted to collaborate with and Amy came to mind instantly, especially knowing that she had her own line of Amorite and things like that, I thought she would be a perfect match. I feel like I don't really follow trends in the traditional sense. I'll troll the internet and if I see something that I like then I'll be like, yep, I'm on that. Like. And I think that was kind of how I got obsessed with clogs. I just randomly saw a girl on the street wearing them and I was like all over them and now I have five pairs. Right now I think I'm really influenced by um, Japanese women and like wearing maxi skirts and really slouchy outfits. Which is probably why I'm wearing a skirt now and like a baggy jumper. My style icons actually dress a bit differently to how I dress. Um, I'm influenced by people like Agnes Dean. Um, Is that why the hair? Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to go white blonde because I'm actually a little obsessed with her. Yeah, she's pretty cool. I guess a pair of black skinny leg jeans and pretty much pair it with anything if you're the kind of girl that likes to wear basics and like dress down black is good for that if you want something more out there and your style is a lot um, more eccentric you can pair it with the most elaborate floral shirt you've ever seen and it'll still look good I think it's like something that yeah, it can go with it. A good coat. Everyone needs a good coat, especially with this horrid Melbourne weather. Yeah, whether that be a trench or just actually, it would probably be a duffel coat. I would be lost without a duffel coat. Mainly because without a hood, I would get drenched and look like a drowned rat. Me and I actually share our roles. We both buy, we both do the administrative things and there's a lot of administrative things. So we both act as models. We both use the term loosely because we're both so awkward in front of the camera. Uh, then we edit the photos and we take turns listing and that kind of a thing. I generally look for prints. Depends on the season I guess. Right now we're really into anoraks, so my eyes sort of go for bright anoraks. Mm. But sometimes you just get bombarded with so much stuff and you just don't know where to look. So I always go for prints and colours. So if something really tickles my fancy, I'll actually go through the effort of looking at it and I'll check for the size, the quality of it. Scientist, female, Melbourne, 25. And Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs>